Hi everyone, this is Sunny from Database Tech. So today I had come up with one more new session on SQL queries and interview questions. This is session 2 and in today's session I will explain how we can list the 50% of rows in a result set. With this we will also cover how we can number the rows in a result set. So let's do this practically in SQL Server. This is SQL Server and now before we start we need some data. For that we have one table named customer. As you can see we have the below output from this table in which we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows. And now if I will ask you okay get me the 50% of data from this table. Might be it is easy for you to get the data. Why? because the row count is less we have only six rows so what will be the 50 percent here it will be three rows but there can be a scenario where the row size is huge millions of rows at that time it will be a bit difficult because we will not always count the rows so we need a query for that which is our requirement so let's create a query for this and one more thing to update here we will be achieving this requirement using CTE and entile function okay so let's create a CTE first what is the syntax to create CTE it's very simple with CTE name as bracket start and bracket close and if you are not aware of CTE you can go through my previous session which will help you to understand like what is CTE and how does it work. CTE means common table expression. It's used to store a temporary result set. And if you are using CTE, you have to refer that. Don't worry, I will show you how it works. Okay, so what's next? We have to create query to get the 50% of data in this CT. So let's fetch the data first. Select ID name and then we will fetch gender and salary. It again depends on the requirement like how many columns you need from the table to show. For now let's uh, get four columns ID name gender salary. You can increase the columns or you can decrease it again it depends upon the requirement for now i had kept it as four columns what's next we will be using entile function now what entile function does let's go to the definition and then i will show you this practically so entile function is a window function that is used to divide sorted rows into equal size of groups. Each group is assigned a rank starting from 1. So what does this mean? Let's understand this practically in SQL Server. So entile function we had used here and it is mandatory like if you are using entile function you have to sort the rows. You have to order the rows. So we will use our clause. In that we will use order by salary okay so you can give any column here for now I had given as salary but it this also depends on the requirement like you need to do sorting on basis of which column either name either father's name address gender or salary okay for now I had kept it as salary so it will do the sorting on basis of salary in ascending order because by default it is ascending if you need to change the sort you can give it descending order but let's keep it as ascending order okay then what's next we will give the alias name to this column so we can give entire data this is a function name so we'll give the, the same name as so that you will understand this is entire column okay so our function is created 
one more thing we are missing here the table name but still you can see the red here it means there is something wrong here what's that just hover the mouse you will you can see the entire function requires one argument which means we have to pass some parameter here to this entire function so let's pass two i will show you why we need to pass the parameter let's first execute this query and then i will show you so let's see what output we get from this query you can see here this table has been now divided into two groups first three one has been assigned and the remaining three two has been assigned which we have seen in the definition what entire function does it divides uh, the table into equal size of groups which it has done it has divided this table into equal number of groups one and two and each group is assigned a rank starting from one so you can see a rank has been assigned here one starting from one and then two okay so now you have understood like what entire function has does it has first sorted the data and then it has divided this table into two portions one and two and then it has assigned like one and two now the thing here is why it has divided this table into two portions why not three why not four because we had provided a parameter here which is two okay and if we will provide the parameter as three it will divide this data the output into three portions which you will see here one first two rows one has been assigned 3, 4, 2 has been assigned and 5, 6, 3 has been assigned. Okay. And now the benefit, the benefit here is using entire function, you can divide the rows, you can divide the output into any portion like 3, 4, 5, 6, no matter whatever the output you have, you can divide the data. That too very easily now our ct is created now how we can get the data from the ct because what we need here is we need 50 percent of data that requirement is not yet foot, uh, fulfilled okay so now if we execute this will it work no which we have seen in our previous session like if we execute the ct without referring that it will not work so it's very important to refer the CT when you are creating any CT. So we have created CT, we have to refer that immediately after creation of CT using select insert or update or delete statement. Okay, so we will use here select statement. Select star from CT name where entire data equal so you can see here it's not a table name it is a cte name that we had created here okay where entire what's entire it is the alias name for this column which we had created using this entire function we need here 50 percent so we have to provide parameter as two so that it can divide this table into two portions 50 and 50 percent and here what we do we'll use two here so now let's execute them together so you can see the output below where we get the 50 percent of data okay so which fulfills our requirement and one more thing here some more benefits you can see here like suppose if you get the requirement from this table which is the output you need the top rows okay you need the upper rows the top three rows from the top three rows from the top or there can be the requirement where you need three rows from the bottom 
so you can change here like if you pass one so you will get the rows from top let's see how so you can see we get the rows from top because we are fetching the those rows which have entire data equal to one and the, if you need the bottom rows you can give it two okay because here if you see the output you can see the first three, three rows we have entire data as one and the remaining three rows we have entire data as two the same way you can if you divide it into three portions you can get like if you need third portion of data you can change it accordingly so by this way you can get any portion of data using entire and ct okay and also one more thing if you need to change here the ct name you can do that as well like here make it test and here also you have to change it to test because the test is the ct here so when we execute this we get the same output okay and if you execute this without ct it will not work as i said earlier we have to execute them together so it's very mandatory for ct if you are working with the ct you have to execute them together the ct and the referring statement okay so this is the way how we can achieve the requirement using CTE and entire function. Now come to second requirement. What was that? We have to the, the we have to get the now we have to number the rows in a result set. What means that number the rows? Let's understand this. Now you can see we have a table named customer2. In this table, we have the below output from this table in which we have columns like name, address, gender, salary. But if you notice here, we don't have the ID column here. Then how should I know? Right now, uh, the row size is less. So we can, we can, okay, this is one, two, three, four. But there can be a scenario where the row size is huge. At that time, how should we get to know, okay, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. We cannot, we will not count that. And if we have to do some uh, modifications, so how we can do that? If we need to assign some ID to this, how we can do that? It's not possible. So for that, what we will do, we will assign a row to each, we will assign some ID to each row okay so how we can achieve that let's see how we can achieve that that is our requirement like number the rows in a result set so let's see how we can achieve this we can achieve this using row number function okay what is the function row number function what it does it assigns an id to each row Okay, let's see how. So select row number function. Okay, row number function here. Then, as I said, like if you are using row number, you have to use again our, our clause. In that, we will use order by, uh, you can give any column, like you can give salary or let's give name here change it like order by name okay as id from customer to so do we have this okay so customer to so let's see we are getting the desired output or not so you can see we get the id one two three four so we are not getting all data let's get let's fetch this id with all the data we have from this customer too so for that we will use star now again execute this query so you can see we get the id 
added to this table like one two three four now you can do your modifications you can insert this this is on this is temporary basis you will not see this id in this customer if you execute this it's not there it's on temporary basis but now you can execute this you can insert this you can add this in this table by creating temporary tables or some other ways so therefore that i will create a separate video but this way you can number the rows you can number the rows in a result set okay so that were the requirements which we have done today i hope you have understood both requirements today in case not you can provide your comments and share your feedback so that i can reply back and if you like the today's session you can please subscribe my channel so that i can post more videos on same with this let us wrap up the session for today we'll come up with the next session shortly till then have a nice day bye bye be safe and be healthy